Now for our feature of the day, we'll visit the perfect place to see superheroes. Cross Generation Comics, a brand new comic book company located in Oldsmar, Florida. We'll get an up close look at how comic books are made. So come with me now and we'll take the grand tour. We're here at Crush Generation Comics in Oldsmar, Florida. And I don't know about you, but I love comic books. I love superheroes and fantasy worlds. And oh, hi, I'm Bruce Blitz. Hi, Bruce. Welcome to Cross Generation Comics. Thank you. I'm Andy Smith. I'm an anchor on our new title, The First, which uh, just came out yesterday. No kidding. Well, you know what? I've been reading Cross Generation Comics, and I'll tell you, they are absolutely fantastic. Could you tell us a little bit about the company? Sure. We're a very unique company in the fact that our whole creative staff is under one roof. Unlike other companies where the creative staff is usually spread nationwide, sometimes worldwide. So the penciler doesn't get to see the colorist and the colorist doesn't get to see the story writer like exactly. that? Exactly. But here we can all get together and really figure out the best stories and artwork to put out the best product. And it doesn't just take one or two people to do that, obviously. It takes a lot of people to make the creative process happen. Is that correct? Oh, it takes a lot of people, and here we've assembled the best talent we could possibly find to put out the best product. Now, where does it all begin? What's the very first step? It starts with the writer, which would be Barbara Kiesel. So why don't I show you to her office? That sounds great. Okay. Hi, Barbara. This is Bruce. Hi, Hi. Barbara. Hi, Bruce. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Barbara's the head writer at CrossGen, and she writes the first. So I need to get back to work, and while I'm doing that, you two can talk about what she does. Oh, we'll catch up with you later. Okay, Bruce. Thank you. Yep. Barbara, where does a story come from? How does it all begin? Well, you sit around and daydream ideas, and sometimes you go back to sources like mythology or Shakespeare or just things you've observed and put them all together and make characters out of them, and then toss them into soup and see what they'll do. Very cool. It must be a great way to spend your time coming up with stories and fantasies and things like that. That's a fun way to spend your time, and what I end up with is a plot like this where I've outlined what exactly will go on to the page. But the best part is where I pass this off to someone like our penciler, Bart Sears, to have him make it into art and bring uh, it to life. Oh, so it goes to the pencil stage now. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Let's go. Now we're here at the pencil stage, and we're with the artist that does the penciling. But not just any artist. We're here with Bart Sears. Hi, Bart. Nice to meet you. It's my pleasure. Uh, Bart has worked with every major uh, comic book company that there is, and now he's found his home with Cross Generation Comics. Mm -hmm. Well, it's great to have you. Now, uh, would you tell us a little bit about what you would do with the script at this point? Well, of course, when I get the script, it's only words. Words on a page? Yep. Okay, and you make it visual. Yeah, I have to take these words and make something out of them. Um, for instance, with page 13, I decided to take one image from that page mm -hmm. and make it a whole splash page. Mm -hmm. How I approach the, each page is I start with a little thumbnail, just a tiny sketch and idea of what I want to do. Mm -hmm. From there, I go to a larger version, which is about half size of what the final version will be, and I work out more of the details and bring it up to a point where I can actually finish pencil it, which I do on the full size paper. Which is 10 by 15. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. So you go from here and then, well, show us a little bit how you do that. Let's see you in action. All right. What I'll do is I'll draw one of my favorite characters in the first. His name's Ensign. Okay. Now, uh, this is pretty much, you're, you can just tell the story from anything you want now. I mean, it's up to you to tell it visually any way you want. They give you some, you know, indication in, on the script. But pretty much this is your ball game at this point. Yeah, once the writer's done with the script, it's in my court. And I mm -hmm. get to, uh, I have to make the decisions that make the book, uh, you know, visually look well. Mm -hmm. And, and they give you the story flow. Well, they give you the parameters how many pages, but it's up to you yes. to divide it up panel-wise any way you want. Yeah, they always give ideas of what they think. But when it comes down to it, it's the artist's job to make those decisions. I see. Now, uh, how important was it for you to learn uh, anatomy? And uh, tell our friends at home uh, how important that was to do superhero work as opposed to the traditional bubble nose kind of characters. Uh, it's, uh, it's vital when you're drawing superhero comics or any kind of daily comics with real people. You need to understand anatomy and form and perspective. Mm -hmm. And one thing I've found with art is that every, every aspect of art, every project I might have thought was silly in high school was vitally important. I go back to this, the little things I learned drawing those vases and flowers and stuff sure. every day. Everything's interconnected that way. So it was important. It's not something that our friends should uh, uh, leave out in the no, training. No. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Okay, Bart, well I could watch you draw all day, but from here, what would happen 
with the next step, who would take it from here? Uh, the next step is to go to the Inker. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for showing us this stage. Thank you very much. This has much. been great. It's been my pleasure.